Next standard, 4NF2, compare two fractions with, new, with different numerators and different denominators. Remember, a numerator is the top number, a denominator is the bottom number. First sign is less than, then we have greater than and equal to. Moving on to the next standard, this is number 6. Get all this out of the way. Let's make sure that's not cut off. There we go. Let's go for math, grade four, unit three, 2019 to 2020 practice problems. Four and F, this should say number two, and this is number six. Problem number six, four and F two. Select the chart. with the symbol less than, greater than, equal to, that correctly compares each pair of numbers. So this is the chart. These are symbols. This is less than, this is greater than, and this is equal to. All right, in math, we want to do tricks that solve problems super fast. When you are comparing fractions, one of the fastest ways to do this is to cross multiply. You go like this, you go like this. Answer here, answer here. And we're going to show that for each one of these over here. Okay? Now, the rest of the problem has this below. And just as we've done previously on different recordings, once you find the answer here, you just simply circle the box that's correct. So let's show our work. Now we have one third. Is that less than, greater than, or equal to one over four? I'm just going to write it down here so you can see it nice and big. One third compared to one fourth. Here's how I like to cross multiply. I just draw a line straight through. Four times one is four. This one, three times one is three. Four compared to three. We know four is greater than three. Therefore, one-third is greater than one-fourth. I would check this box. Now, another way of doing it is finding a common denominator, okay? And a fast way to find common de denominators is just to take the two bottom numbers times each other. So 3 times 4 is 12. So, for instance, if I take 3 times 4 is 12... One third is the same thing as three times four is 12. So take the top number, one times four is four over 12. And now we have one fourth. If we know that the common denominator is 12, I'll do one fourth down here. Four times three is 12. One times three is three. So here is the fraction that we just did, one-third compared to one-fourth. Now that they have common denominators, we can just look at the top number and see that four is greater than three, which is exactly what we did right there. So you can do all of these steps and get the answer, or you can just cross multiply. I found that students just love to cross multiply, saves a tremendous amount of time. It's this process in the end, but it's much faster. Okay, what do I mean? So let's look at the next two fractions that are being compared. 5 over 6 compared to 6 over 8. If you cross multiply, this is 8 times 5. 8 times 5 is 40. So you really need to know your multiplication facts. So I'd write 40 over here. And then this would be 6 times 6 which is 36. So you can see that clearly, I would have 40 compared to 36. 
I know that 40 is greater than 36. So both of these are greater than signs. So one third is greater than one fourth and five over six is greater than six over eight. I need to find the chart that has this. Remember, I use the strategy of cross multiplying. I go up, multiply, go over to the right, multiply. Eight times five, 40, six times six, 36. Okay, let's see our chart. Which one has greater than, greater than? For this problem, it looks like it's C. Okay, one more time, and now you'll see on this problem. Now on the test, it has these all equal to each other, which to me is kind of confusing. Don't necessarily worry about that. You just need to pick which sign works for those problems. So if it helps, you cover this up. One third is greater than one fourth. Five six is greater than six eighths. Again, here's cross multiplying. So if you know your times tables, you can do this really fast. Four, three. Four is greater than three. Eight times five, 40. Six times six, 36. 40 is greater than 36. So we just checked our answer right there. So you can really see it and so it pops out. This is the sign that we want, which is greater than, okay? Then you can see it right here as well, greater than, which we proved it right here and we proved it right there, okay? On this standard four and F2, seven, eight, nine, and 10, we will always do cross multiply just because it's the fastest. Some problems you might need to find the common denominator and go that route, but for all of these, if we are comparing fractions, let's just get straight to the point. Hope that helps. Bye-bye.